Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. We're continuing to review and compare devices and you can check these updates on our Twitter community at GadgetRev now. We just finished doing a speed comparison between Pixel 3, Pixel 4, and Pixel 5. So I thought of throwing Pixel 2 XL on the mix. This is Pixel 2 XL versus the fastest Pixel phone yet, the Pixel 4 XL. Today we're comparing two of the most popular Pixel phones with a distinct look. Both front screen looks identical from the large forehead to that little bit of chin. If you're planning to buy a Pixel phone today, is Pixel 2 XL sufficient? Or if you already have a Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL, is Pixel 4 or Pixel 4 XL an upgrade? Outside the speed comparison video, Pixel 2 XL might be a little older but still a powerful phone and one of the best camera you would see on the phone. Well, Pixel 4 XL defeated the latest Pixel 5 on our last speed test and if you want to check that, it's under Gadget Rev now, speed comparison playlist. We will test synthetic benchmarks, boot up, screen refresh rate, application load time, and network download and upload speed to see what the difference are and who's better. Who will win? Hey, don't forget to subscribe my friend. Let's go! On our first test, we will do synthetic benchmark using Geekbench 5. We will check how both phones process data on single core and multi cores. On this comparison test, we will also see how fast these phones process data while using all their available resources. We made sure we clear all opened apps. Just to remind you, Pixel 2 XL will be on the left and Pixel 4 XL will be on the right. While waiting, these are the specs for both phones. You can check it out. I don't want to skip the test for transparency, so we will just speed up the video. So Pixel 4 XL finished first, now we will check how long will it take for Google Pixel 2 XL to finish. Pardon for the overexposed screen, we will adjust it on our succeeding test. So after 1 minute and 47 seconds, Pixel 2 XL also finished this test. Checking the synthetic benchmark, Pixel 2 XL has a good score of 355 in single core and 1412 in multi cores, while Google Pixel 4 XL got 686 in single core and 2357 in multi cores. Almost twice the difference, but again, we will check if this will translate to real world test. Next is boot up test. We will turn off both phones and turn it back on to see who is faster. Operating system, network connectivity, and boot up animation may affect how fast this is. Wow, there you go. Google Pixel 2 XL is faster than Google Pixel 4 XL. So Google Pixel 2 XL is the winner here. Next test is screen refresh rate. This affects the smoothness of the home screen and more for user experience. The smoother the transition, the faster it feels. Checking the screen technology of both phones, the older Pixel 2 XL only has a regular 60Hz, but Pixel 4 XL since it's newer already have the 90Hz refresh rate. This will be helpful in gaming and smoothness of transition. So Google Pixel 4 XL is the winner here. Next is opening of apps. So we divide this into three categories, light apps, medium apps, and heavy apps. Light apps are for casual users that don't do heavy tasks on their phone. These are mostly pre-installed apps for productivity, like calendar and clock. It's a tie on phones. It's a tie on messaging. Almost the same time on clock. Pixel 2 XL is faster on Google Chrome. It's a tie on camera. It's a tie on Google Calendar. Pixel 4 XL is slightly faster on settings. And Pixel 4 XL is faster in calculator. Now let's try to relaunch these apps. So 
So for casual users, whoever is cheaper and produce the same performance wins it. Google Pixel 2 XL is definitely cheaper than Pixel 4 XL, so Pixel 2 XL is the winner here. Next is medium apps. These are essentially light apps but needing network connectivity with multiple functionality like social networking apps. These are for average users. Pixel 2 XL is faster on Facebook. Pixel 4 XL loaded faster on Messenger. It's almost a tie on Instagram. It's also a tie on TikTok. Pixel 4 XL is faster on Gmail. Pixel 4 XL is slightly faster on Play Store. It's a tie on Google Maps. Pixel 2 XL loaded faster on YouTube. And it's a tie on Google Photos. Now let's try to relaunch these apps. So for medium apps like social networking and shopping apps, still the same. Pixel 2 XL will give you more value if you're just an average user. So Pixel 2 XL is the winner here. And lastly, heavy apps that need processing power, faster refresh rate, and stable internet connectivity. Let's see if the benchmark scores are showing on real-world tests. Pixel 4 XL is faster on Subway Surfer. Wow, it's a tie on Temple Run. Pixel 4 XL is faster on 8-ball pool. Again, Pixel 4 XL is faster in Pokemon Go. Pixel 4 XL is faster in Mobile Legends. Pixel 4 XL is faster on Netflix. And Pixel 2 XL is faster on Disney Plus. Now let's try to relaunch these apps. Pixel 2 XL Reloaded in Pokemon Go And again, Pixel 2 XL Reloaded in Mobile Legends So, it's not too bad for Pixel 2 XL for heavy users Pixel 4 XL has a larger RAM and definitely the more expensive handset So Pixel 4 XL is the winner here and for our last test, the network speed test. We will check the download and upload speed when connected to the Wi-Fi. So, Pixel 2 XL has a whopping 218 Mbps download speed and 9.07 Mbps upload speed. While Google Pixel 4 XL has slower 55.3 Mbps download speed with 8.81 Mbps upload speed. Pixel 2 XL surprises me with a crazy download speed, so Pixel 2 XL is the winner here.
So what is Gadget Revnow's verdict? Pixel 2 XL or Pixel 4 XL? This is a hard realization since there are two generation gap for these phones. I would say Pixel 2 XL stole the limelight a little bit from the faster and better Pixel 4 XL. Not super crazy different. I will recommend Pixel 2 XL on casual and average users. You will save more if you're not a gamer. It's a budget phone on steroids. And I will recommend Google Pixel 4 XL on anyone including gamers and heavy users. It has a faster screen refresh rate, faster in loading games, and it doesn't reload apps. This comparison is a testament that you don't need a spanking new phone if you would only need a decent performer for your daily casual needs. But given a lot of people are doing gaming and heavy tasks on their phones, Pixel 4 XL might be a good upgrade from Pixel 2 XL. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. We're posting videos of gadget reviews, comparisons, photography gears, and tips. The goal of this channel is to review and compare devices as simple as possible, concise, and friendly. Don't forget to drop your comment, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.